guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Danishka and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all how to make clay earrings so these are super simple and very easy designs so yeah I hope you guys like this video and the list of materials is in the description box and now let's begin so first off, I'm taking some clay and I'm going to roll it out flat. You can see that I'm using two popsicle sticks on both the sides. This just helps the clay to be equal on all the sides. You can increase the number of, you can kind of stack the popsicle sticks to your height or width, you can say. And now I'm just taking a lip balm box circular box i'm just cutting a circle you can use anything that is circular to cut your circle out and then i'm gonna cut around it just like that to make a circle and there's my circle and i'm just gonna smooth the edges out and then i'm gonna cut out a half circle like that and then i'm gonna again smooth the edges of both of them and then i'm gonna take my needle tool and make two holes at the top like so make sure you do it on the back side also otherwise it will not be whole really and yeah tip if you if your clay goes dry just use a spray bottle with water and just spray it that way it will be soft again and then i'm just taking some more clay i'm just going to roll it out flat like so i'm just finding the same steps i did for the um circles and then i'm going to cut out triangle a triangle like that of course you don't need one you have to make two for both the earrings so yeah and then i'm just gonna again smooth the edges like that and then i'm gonna also straighten it with my blade as you can see and then i'm gonna align them both and make one more hole uh, in the triangle and one at the top like that Make sure you do it on the back side of the triangle out as well. And then just leave it to dry for 24 hours. And by the way, this is how my earring will look like once I've painted it all. So it's been 24 hours and I've also sanded them and I've also applied a layer of gesso over top. Now I'm going to take some red acrylic paint and mix it with white to make a nice pink color. Of course, you don't have to follow what color I am doing. You can, of course, use any color of your choice. So, yeah. And then I'm going to use a very... I'm going to make a muted green by uh, mixing a green with some white. And just color that the triangle with that. And this is how they look like. And I'm going to just remake the hole because of the paint just so... All that went inside the hole and kind of closed it. So yeah. So next I'm going to take my glaze and I'm just going to glaze it like that. This just protects the paint from any kind of damage, you know. This is completely optional, but you can also use Fevicol because that also dries clear. So yeah. And then I'm going to take, once they are dry, I'm going to take two jump rings. And I'm going to open one really widely. I'm going to attach the uh, semicircle as well as the triangle together and then i'm gonna take my very rusty pliers and i'm gonna kind of close them and that's how they both look like really pretty <laughs> and then i'm gonna take another jump ring and place it over top and then i'm gonna close it which was not at all needed because i have to still put the earring hook and here's my earring hook and i'm gonna now clip it and there we go your earring so make one more and please like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching